welcome fellow bookworms and film fans welcome to this week's episode of the consented narrative we will be looking at a book review of the guest list by lucy foley now as i mentioned uh, a couple of weeks ago in regards to into the water so paula hawkins the way that she writes is sort of like from each person's perspective this is very similar to how lucy foley writes um is you get the day of the event happening the day before the event happening you get the jumps between the two you get the jumps between the different characters you've got as well and this is is it when it goes well it goes well and when it doesn't go well it doesn't go well but this went well um ironically michael got me the guest list before the hunting party and the hunting party is like the first one that she wrote um i have read both now um and i thoroughly enjoyed them both so with the guest list I mean, as I'm sure you can guess, I guessed who the killer was. Um, but that's only because of the amount of, like, you know, murder mysteries that I read and detective programs that I watch that I'm basically just suspicious of everybody. But it was it was very well written and I did enjoy it. I, I enjoyed it, fun, like, fantastically. Um, it did get off to a little bit of a slow start. Um, I will admit that it did take me a little while to get into um, and once I got into it I kind of got good momentum going and, and, and got into it quite well. So basically um, there's this remote I like this remote little island off the Irish coast and this sort of like big shot um, marketing publisher woman um, is getting married there with this big shot sort of like actor for a survival thing and it's a very limited guest list there we go of who is actually arriving and who's going to be there and then it looks into into the friends and the families and it, and it looks into into people that might not necessarily be who they say they are uh, people that are putting up fronts um and you just kind of you kind of drawn along with the story in such a way that i did like i i absolutely loved it like absolutely loved it because I was sat there and I was like, oh, someone's dead. And I was like, I I kind of guessed who the person was that was dead as well. Um, it was a 50-50 shot between two of the characters. And when you read it, please leave it below in the comments because I don't want to spoil it for anybody. I love people to read them. And I don't like being spoilers when it's, when it's a book review. But it was just like, because obviously you get the fact that someone's died, but not who's died. You don't get that for a while but then you see other characters when they go into the time of the murder and you're like well it can't be them because they've sp stumbled on the body or it can't be that person because that person you know and it's just and you're trying to figure out who's died and then you're trying to figure out who killed the person and it's in very quick succession that you find both those facts out and it just i was left afterwards being like yes yes vindicated because it was just so well put together and I loved the interactions between the characters. And I love how people that you didn't think had any history or whatever are the ones that did had like the most history. And it was just, it was brilliant to kind of read this. And I love the writing style that Lucy Foley has, has gone with because it does work with the way that she's written and it works with the story that she's written. Now with the hunting party, again, it was pretty much the exact same writing style and I did enjoy it, but I, I felt the hunting party felt a little bit flatter than the guest list did. Like I enjoyed the guest list a lot more than I enjoyed hunting party. Um, so I reckon if I'd have read hunting party first, I probably wouldn't have read guest list. So I'm really glad that Michael got them the other way around for me because don't get me wrong, the guest list is a, like the hunting party is a really good book and I, I do enjoy it, but the guest list is just better and it's just it, the the characters I felt more invested in, um, and I genuinely there was like as I said there was a person that I was like it was fifty fifty between two people that I was like I hope it's you, or you that dies, like and when the person dies I'm like yes I'm so glad it was you, but you feel that as well like you get that kind of, and it's so well written that you feel that towards a character, because obviously these characters are thought of by the author so the fact that the author has put you in that frame of mind where you're going i hope you die is so weird and like i love that she killed off the person that i thought she was going to kill off but i also love the fact that this is something that she's done that's made you hate this character 
by and it's not it's not by being like overly you know moustached villain you know sat in the background with an evil plan kind of vip person it's because the the person that dies the person you know is just not a nice person and in in ways that are just not <sighs> i'm trying to not say too much because obviously i really want you guys to read this book like it gets a four out of five for me it's such a good book but like the person that dies and, and the person that actually kills the person that dies as well you sat there going i'm so glad that that was the conclusion because again the killer when you find out who the person is that's died the killer could have been like one of god knows how many people and the person that actually did the deed you're like i'm so glad it was you and i love that in a book like i love when you feel that when you feel i'm so glad that that person's dead but i'm so glad that it was you that did it and the fact that she brought me along for the ride and i didn't want to put it down and as i said it was a bit of a slow start but once i got going it did remind me a lot of it's a tv series that michael uh, got me to watch and I really enjoyed that. And um, I can't remember what it was called now. Harper's Island. It reminded me, like the book reminded me a lot of Harper's Island. Obviously Harper's Island, loads of people die. The book only one person dies. But it reminded me of that, like they're in a secluded area and you kind of like, oh, you know. But honestly, give this book a go. Please go out and buy it, read it. Leave it below in the comments if you do enjoy it. Um, and let me know if you've picked up the book on my recommendation or if you've already read it. Please let me let me know in the comments below. But thank you for all the continued support. Don't forget to click subscribe uh, so you're alerted whenever a new video comes out. Um, and just remember to always keep it contento.